Frequently on YouTube, I find myself commenting on other videos about topics that interest me. One such YouTuber that I'm subscribed to is The Amazing Atheist. You may all have heard of him. The Amazing Atheist recently uploaded a video titled Contemplating Wealth Inequality in America. It's worth a watch. Here's the link I posted in the description too. Naturally, considering that I live in a shithole town in Alabama and that I'm one of the 99% that works his balls off 40 hours a week for shit pay, I 100% agree with The Amazing Atheist on his views. I scrolled through the comments on the video and one YouTuber commented, It depresses me to no end when I see people who defend and make excuses for what these unchained and unregulated corporations are doing to this country. They believe it's capitalism at work and people like us are just a bunch of lazy moochers who are jealous of the money they're raking in, so blind to the fact that they're being robbed too. If Americans don't wake up to this fast enough, it only proves how stupid we've really become. Now I thought that was a pretty logical viewpoint. He didn't make any bogus claims, he just spoke his opinion, which also happens to be the truth. I decided to reply to his comment with, I guess that makes me one hard working ass moocher. Laugh out loud. All I do is work and I can barely afford to keep my bills paid, let alone any luxuries. My boss? Oh, he says he wishes he could pay me more, but he can't afford it. He can afford, however, to drive from Alabama to Oklahoma in a Hummer H3 to pay $50,000 in cash for a Hummer H2. Now what I said was an attempt to lighten the mood a little with humor, even though everything I said in the comment was 100% true. If you consider any part of the original comment to be unrealistic, unreasonable, or just plain ridiculous, have a look at the ass clown that replied to my comment. You're right, dude. Your boss should buy you a Hummer too. Maybe he should buy Hummers for all of the employees. Fuck it, let's raise the minimum wage to $50 an hour. That way, nobody will be poor. You are nothing but a moocher and a degenerate, and also a hypocrite, since if the positions were reversed, you would do the exact same thing. Learn how to earn, and maybe start your own business. If I can do it, you can do it, unless you simply are a coward. This asshole is exactly the kind of prick the guy was talking about in his comment. Now, before I continue, let me address what this arrogant motherfucker said to me. First of all, this clown has no idea who I am, where I live, so for the record, I do own a business, a graphic design firm. Well, I went to this YouTuber's page, and his business is, get this folks, a pot farm. That's right, I studied countless hours in high school and in college to get the knowledge I possess to operate my business. Not to mention that I've worked in the printing industry for nearly eight years. Anyone with street smarts can run your business. It's not a business when any dope-headed, pot-smoking motherfucker can run it. I don't want to drive a motherfucking gas-hogging Hummer. If my boss woke up tomorrow feeling so generous that he walked into work screaming, Hummers for everyone, I would accept the offer and then sell it. I'd take the money and finish building the stroker for my Mustang. I'd build my lowered Ranger Splash. I would go auto crossing. I would invest in a fuel efficient car like a Toyota Prius. So fuck you asshole. You don't know anything about me and you don't know anything about the middle class American. Your way of narrow minded arrogant thinking is exactly why I hated Mitt Romney so much. You people think that because you are selfish, greedy, mother grubbing motherfuckers that everyone must be that way. Listen, not everyone wants to be filthy stinking rich. Some of us just want to be teachers, firemen, scientists, farmers, engineers, mechanics. These people don't own and operate their own business. It's not because they're not intelligent enough or because they can't, it's simply because they don't want to. I own and operate my graphic design company. I still don't want to be filthy stinking rich. This motherfucker has the audacity to call me a moocher, a degenerate, and a hypocrite. He calls me a degenerate because to him, the idea of someone not desiring to be swimming in money like the duck from DuckTales 
is so absurd that his tiny, money-obsessed mind can't comprehend it. He calls me a moocher because he thinks I'm pissed off that my boss drives a Hummer and I don't. He believes that when people complain about that inequality, that they're suggesting that they should be given a Hummer too. No, no you nitwit, open your fucking mind. People complain about that shit because they get told by their boss, just like I got told, that I wish I could pay you more, but I just can't afford it. Oh, is that so? So you can afford a big house with an in-ground pool, a two-car garage, a Ford Expedition, a Ford Mustang, a Hummer H2, a Hummer H3, two Jeep Cherokees, a zero-turn lawnmower, a condo in the Panama City for a week, all three of your spoiled bratty children gone to private school and then straight into university, a $20,000 wide format printer, a $20,000 automatic screen printing press, and a wide format cutter? Well, I see why you can't afford to pay me more. You spent all of your damn money that I earned for you on useless bullshit. You don't need a Hummer. You don't need a big house. You don't need an in-ground pool with a jacuzzi. You don't need to send your children to private school when public school will do just fine. You don't need a $7,000 zero-turn lawnmower when a standard lawnmower will do the same job. You don't need millions of dollars in the bank to survive. No, you only bought all that sh bullshit because you wanted it. You didn't buy it because you needed it. You just bought it because you wanted it. This pathetic nobody calls me a hypocrite because, as I said, he genuinely believes that everyone is like him. That they all, everyone, wants to be filthy, stinking rich. Listen, my mother was a school teacher for 20 years. Do you think she expected to be rolling in a Lexus after 10 fucking years? No! She knew that she would not get filthy, stinking rich in that profession. But she became a school teacher anyway. And you know why? This may shock you. Because she wanted to be a school teacher. She didn't start her own business. Is my mother, as well as any other school teacher, a moocher and a degenerate because they didn't start a business like you did? If I could maintain $50,000 a year in income, I'd be set for life. That's more than enough for me to support me and my wife, any children we may have in the future, my custom car projects, my addiction to auto crossing and road racing, any TV and any DVD that I wanted. Hell, I could even buy any house that I wanted if I was making that. This sick, demented, disturbed individual and others like him do not in the least understand the 99% argument against inequality. We're not asking to be sadistic, narrow-minded, filthy, stinking, rich motherfuckers like you. We're just asking that we be given what we deserve. The 99% work their asses off every single day, and their reward for their painstaking work is that they get to survive, to work tomorrow. No vacations, no free time to spend with their families, just work. Sounds a lot like slavery, doesn't it?